Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? All right, so it's been a minute since um I put a video out. So it's been real. This summer was just yeah, pretty crazy. Um, but anyways, this is all my stuff I recently got. But uh, yeah, um, if you see up, the tarp is still uh, epic fail. Did not try three different attempts. Now that summer's over, I don't really need that much of a shade to stay cool and whatnot. It's just fine. So I'm, uh, I, I have to stop either keep going with the tarp or stop right now immediately and start doing my winter, whatever I need for winter. Um, making a something for winter. So uh, yeah, this is the camp i guess i don't know it's all trying to get organized and stuff but i've done a few things but um the major thing that i've done is i want to do this i heard about air i really love to do it but that's you know cost a tiny bit of money and i had a little gun thing i made and anyways um i just it's just harder for me to get all the way to El central to get cement and blah, blah blah when i could just do adobe so anyways i went out and i found these forms i don't know what the hell they're for but you know they're they're all broken in like either on the side or the ends. So what I did is I went out and collected a bunch of different frame, like window frames and all different types of frames for to fit these all in perfectly. And um, like you see over here, I got really big ones right there. Those are huge. And uh, those, which is right there, um, I have uh, about sixty something, almost seventy forms. I did like 60, yeah, 61 or 65 uh, bricks. It was like eight or nine wheelbarrows of Adobe <laughs> mix. It was brilliant. So it's tough. It's a lot of elbow grease, but it's all free. Like every, all the forms, all the water, the hay, the clay, the sand, everything. It was all free. So all, all I, it's all labor, basically. So it's basically free materials just um, for labor. And uh, yeah, I'm really digging it. They, um, these forms here are um, all different sizes. They come apart pretty simple. Um, I want to put together. And anyway, when they when they're when they are split though, and they're in these forms, they tend to like bow out like this, and then they'll break because of the the thing. So I'm trying to figure out how I can stick them together. And I collected all these metal pieces from uh, I can't remember, not from a battery. It's from uh, transformers and stuff like that. Some are huge like this one. They're a little ease. They're like ease everywhere. I thought I'd collect them and do some art thing with them. But anyways, I've had them for months. I've had them for probably close to a year. <laughs> I haven't done anything with them. There's big ones, tiny ones. and Let me see here. Big ones. Here's what they look like before they're rusted. But yeah, there's big ones. There's little ones. Like, you know, little beady tiny ones. and you know, all, all different sizes. So what I do, and I found it. I'm like, oh, you know what I could do? I could bend these back. I could bend two of the prongs back and bend this one forward and then put this like that. See? And uh, yeah, it worked just perfect. It was, yeah, they worked better than perfect. It's awesome. So they all held together really good. And uh, yeah, I made them like, uh, yesterday or uh, yeah, yeah, not last night, but yeah, yesterday and the little bit night before. When it was really cool, when it was cool out, not during the day, but you know, you know at night and in the mornings and stuff. And yeah, I pumped out yeah, almost 70 bricks and stuff. Um, if I do that a day, I'll get 100, 140 bricks in two days, and then I don't do the math for a week, I guess. <laughs> seven times seven, yeah, it'd be 40. Yeah, 50, yeah, 500, but maybe like 500 bricks in a week or something. So yeah, um, Right now I'm taking them apart and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I didn't do any of these videos at all. I did a bunch of other stuff, but uh, my generic uh, pro go got a camera, got a, yeah, it, it grew legs and walked away, sadly. I, I have an idea who, it's just, hmm, I don't know if I want to become that person again. i out here be, trying to be a better person, better self, loving myself and everything else. And I, what I normally I would, you know, go and, tear him a new asshole but i um trying to be better than that and uh yeah so anyway that's, that doesn't matter so all those videos who cares it's not, not not who cares but those videos they're gone and I'm not gonna see them again but that's all right i can make more and i i was there i know what happened and yeah anyways don't really need it to yeah, anyways whatever i'm not gonna put too much uh, energy into it 
But anyways, so figured I'd um make a video and show you guys what you know how my process of how I figured out how to you know get this stuff going. Oh, and all the it's really cool too. This new spot that I'm at, there's a little hill, and normally on like the on the hillsides and and stuff is where you find pretty good clay, you know. And I got really good clay. I got this like silvers kind of clay, the red clay. I have there's like three or four, three three different types that's out here. And, and oh yeah, anyways, I usually just, um take this little. Oh, what was that? Ah. Hmm. Sorry, everybody. Where's my little thing? There we go. So yeah, I'd show you guys how I, uh, you know, whatever, figured out this process. So I just basically take uh, the one of the E's. Uh, I, I take them out. I, once I pour the uh, the adobe, it, uh, I can take these out because I need to put something on top so the forms don't rise up. So the because the clay is so heavy that it comes out the bottom. If I don't have anything on top holding the forms down, it'll they'll come out, they'll bow out, they'll bow out a lot and come start leaking out underneath. So I take these out, put some on top, and put some not too heavy, but you know something that's you know rest on there to you know keep them from like going all crazy. But uh, anyways, yeah, I just take it and fucking slide it down, cut it, cut it so they're not because I tried it earlier and I cracked two of the bricks already. <laughs> They're still wet, so they're not like... I did a wet pour. I didn't do a dry. I did a wet pour. It's so a little more water than normal because I don't really need to take these out of the forms immediately. You know, a lot of people do that little stiffer um, mix so they can take them, take, take the forms. I mean, basically, that's why they do that is to take them out of the forms right away and just make another one. But I have so many forms, I can't keep up with all the forms. Too, so I could just... I just let them, I just let them go for, for 24 hours and they're, they're really good. Oh, yeah. And if you guys see, the metal... Gives it really cool, um, the, the rusted on there, and it gives it really cool designs on the outside of the bricks. It's really fucking cool looking, and it stays that way. Um, yeah, um, yeah, ah, keep, man, it's too early in the morning. I haven't had any coffee or nothing yet, but, anyways, thought I'd do this. Oh, and the, all about the clay. Yeah, I was, I was talking about two or three different things at once. You guys probably all confused. I'm sorry. I'm scattered brain this morning. But uh anyways, so yeah, the clay out here is really, really good. I got a few different types, especially right here on this. I don't have to go very far. It's right here on my at this camp pretty much on this hillside uh back there. You know. If you guys see the the tree. I'm not sure yeah. Yeah, I just planted this tree. It's a dead tree, a burnt out tree. I'm gonna get a bunch of them, but you see it's given the 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 metal devil horns fucking hand signal. That is metal as fuck, isn't it? That is so fucking cool. It's like, wah! Uh, can you guys see? Uh, there we go. Wait. There we go. There's a heart that's on it. But yeah, you can see like the wah! The two fingers sticking up. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is a little hillside right here. I'm going to cut into, I'm going to cut all into this and put a retaining wall back there and maybe have a yurt or something. I'm, I have some few plans. But anyways... Put a retaining wall back there. I pull all this out, and this is all basically 50 50. It's half clay, half sand. I don't even have to go get sand or go to a different spot to get more sand or whatever. It's all right there. I could just shovel, you know, whatever uh, formula I want, but it's all 50 50, so that's perfect. Oh, I did this. Oh, yeah. And it's the first time I've done this, too. <laughs> Do the, uh, the test where you pour a bunch in a, in a uh, jar. Put water and wait 24 hours. Wait, wait till the next day, and then you can tell the different, like, like right, like right here is all like a little silt. This is all the clay, and then halfway, this is the sand. So you got sand and clay, and then the silt. Like this one here is by like a third, a third clay to two thirds sand. It's pretty close. It's almost even now. It's about two thirds to third. But um, this is a different area. The one I'm doing right now is this guy right here. So you got your silt, and then you got, it's kind of hard to see the diff, I don't know if you guys can see on this camera or not, but it's like right around here, can you see the diff, it's a little, it's kind of the same color, but it's a little different if you go all the way around. It's a little, this is more chunkier, and this is more dense, you can kind of see the slight color difference in it. So yeah, this one here is like half and half, 
And then I pulled another one out just from random area. And this one here too, boom, it was, you know, you got your silk up here, and then your clay, and then your sand. It's like half and half, right, right there. It's like almost perfect half and half. That's what I'm looking for. Um, I'm gonna try it. My first time doing Adobe was that slab, that Adobe, uh, Adobe clay slab that I did. Um, oh, and I got a bathtub now too. I can mix all my Adobe in so I can do a lot. I can wheelbarrow and that. So with the slab, I need a lot of Adobe. But uh, yeah, my first attempt with that Adobe slab, and I totally failed at that too. It way too much clay, and because that last year with the storm, and anyways, there was like clay everywhere. So I just used that, and I thought I had, had enough sand in it to. Well, but no, I didn't do any, you know, like the, the jar test or nothing. I just, you know, just went ahead and trial and error, right? You know. Anyways, yeah. So now I did all this, and now these bricks are coming out really, really good. And they're uh, oh, there's like several different sizes. Um, which is pretty cool too, because I'm about to make uh, an Adobe pizza bread oven. Oh my god, it's gonna be epic! But um, but yeah, I'm feeling good. There's uh, yeah, um, skate park's got some kids' parents and everything hanging out and shit. <laughs> They're all doing all right. I don't know if you guys know Lewis. I guess he's gone. Uh, Stefan, he's gone now. Uh, just, uh, was it Val and a few others over there? Anyways, um, yeah. So yeah, I just you know take the form. They're still kind of wet, so I don't want to be. I could be really gentle. Like I last time I did this when I was up like a few months ago when I first started doing the Adobe the bricks that I made. I'll, I'll go over there in a second to show you guys. Um, I broke a couple of them, kicking them out. And I'm like, oh man, that sucks. And I right away because they're like you know they're still a little, little damp. You guys see if they're still wet. Even on top, you can tell they're warm. They're still wet. But anyways, um, yeah, they're still pretty moist. They're not even. They should be turning like the same color as the cement. They should be like this color. When it dries out, it'll be like that. But um, yeah, they're kind of wet, so they're fragile. Um, but once they dry, they're man, they're solid. They're really solid. You know, while I'm talking about it, might as well I'll go walk over there and show you guys the bricks I did make. that are really good. The ones that are dried by now, they're like over a month. A month. It'll take three weeks or so to dry. And another reason why, if I'm doing the Adobe. Winners around the corner, and uh, they're not gonna, they're gonna take a lot longer to, to cure, you know, a lot longer to cure. So, yeah, this is my little Adobe um, setup. Um, dumpstered a bunch of, uh, in the washer, or whatever, found a bunch of uh, like old pools and everything else, and I can use those as my uh, radiant or my uh, uh, water barrier for underneath the, the, the slab or the, the foundation. This is all the clay and sand. Um, this is my hay and yeah, my sifter's not over here, it's over there. I got that's a big old bag of sawdust, not small sawdust, the thick sawdust is really good to put in your adobe. I know I, I just my, my experiment, and it really came out really good. But, um, yeah, here's the uh, oh shit, and I don't want them to rain, I don't want these to get rained on, so that's why this is over here too. This plastic stuff, but I used it for a few things. Yeah, here's a sandstone. It's just as hard as sandstone. Yeah, here's a little one I made. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's super hard as a rock. And you know what? I haven't done a drop test yet. Should I do a drop test? Let me see. Oh, yeah, here's the one I broke. Here's one of the big ones. But, yeah, this is the one I broke. But it... Yeah, if you guys can see, it broke all the way in half. Like, huge. And I'm like, oh no, I stuck it back together thinking it would like like a sand castle, you know, it's kind of damp and you kind of breaks on you and you're like, oh, but you can kind of put it back. It's exactly what I did and it stayed solid. I'm like, no way, it's still fucking, it's still really good. So anyways, I guess this one's kind of broken, so I'll try a drop test on it. Never done it yet. Don't know what's going to happen. They might even be shitty as hell and who knows, but uh, here we go. Um, I'm going to come through. It's like my waist height. Waist high, I guess. Yeah, waist high. I and mean, they said about the knee, they said to drop it. So I'll drop, oh, I won't drop it on that broken corner because that's probably bad. I'll drop it on that good corner. All right, here we go. All right, all right, knee high. Here we go. Oh, wow. What do you know? Only the corner that was already broken broke. But it landed. It landed right there. Huh. Not too bad. It was already broken anyway, so who knows if that was, good or if that was uh, a good test or not. I don't know. I just tried it for the first time.
Let me try it one more time. I'll go waist high this time just to see what, what happens. I'll land it. I'll drop it flat. It'll probably break, but who knows. No, oh, it did. Yeah, it was already cracked and stuff, but... Huh. Anyways, um, I don't know. Just thought I'd... Since I'm doing work... Oh, there's another reason why I didn't do any... I couldn't... I don't do any videos is because uh, in the summertime, it's way too hot during the day to do any work. So all my work is done at uh, 8, 9 at night. I start and go until 6 in the morning. And then I take a nap and, you know, through the day and then wake up in the afternoon and do it again. Um, oh, yeah, over there's where the pizza oven's going to be. But, um, but yeah. Uh, oh, another thing. I got these semi-rims. There's nothing I was doing. Because I took this rim here. Was it like that? Yeah. And this it went like that. So you can see how it sits up. And I poured it full of adobe and put a PVC pipe in the middle, okay? It's trial and error. It's the first time I tried. It didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to. But this is the... Whoa, it's really heavy. Oh, my God. But this thing is really solid and super heavy. But it's like a um, a portable or movable uh, uh, tent stand or something. To, you know, flagpole or uh, tent stand or anything you could use to... You know, there's a lot of these things, you know, when you got your tarp, when your tarp's up, you need a tarp, like, one, if you don't have anything to attach it to, you could put a pole in there, and boom, you got something to attach your tarp to, and it wouldn't, it won't go anywhere. It's really heavy. So I got two of these things I'm going to start making them with. I just got to figure out a way so the adobe doesn't, doesn't stick to the inside. I got to figure, and I'll figure it out. If anyone knows, please um, mention it in the comments or, or something. That'd be really cool. But yeah, I was hoping that would work out. And eventually, what I want to do is put mosaic on the inside and then pour the put a mosaic design on the inside with you know uh, all the stuff i find there's so much glass and ceramics and whatever there's so much i could do anyways put a little design on the, on the inside here pour this pour the adobe um let it set not let, let it set and then pull it out and then hopefully when i pull it out the mosaic will be on the outside of you know outside of the thing and Make them look kind of nice. It can be a planter, like for a plant. It could be a, you know. Um, if you need to raise, if you don't have, uh, if your poles or whatever for your tent or whatever you're trying to do is not high enough, you could use that to give it another six inches up if you need more space or whatever, more room. <sighs> ah, but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want, that's, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um. Oh, my tarp did. <laughs> so I had these uh, two by eights right here going all the way around to that side. This whole wall here was completely pretty much done. I had, I had supports. I had I had everything on it. Um, <laughs> anyways, that wind was just it, the winds out here are just insane. It was it was brutal. It was only brutal for about a half an hour. But that half an hour, it when I walked up to my slab, whoa! I started tying stuff off and. It starts throwing stuff around on these tarps. There's these huge, these big, uh, they're the hay tarps. And they're really heavy duty, like super heavy duty. And this is like a 55 by 60. So it's, it's huge. But it has these ropes that are on the ends. And when the wind uh, blows the tarp like a, like a, like a sail, it'll, those, those, uh, uh, ropes like flail like all over the place and they'll grab onto stuff and throw it. Like, I mean, it's one of my last videos. You guys seen me grab onto the propane tank, and I had to put you guys down to... I had to put the phone down so I could run over and grab the propane tank because it was, it's got eight and a half gallons, an RV propane tank that I... For my bus, and I haven't installed it yet. But uh, so, like, but it's full of propane, and I didn't want it to, like, you know, explode. That would be, that would be pretty bad. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, those uh, those ropes would grab stuff and throw it everywhere. And, yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy. So, anyways, it basically, this whole wall, it's, like, 45 feet long. Cause my bus is 40 and that's it's 45 so i have a little room for the garage it's 45 feet long and it ripped every single pole all these poles just ripped them out and just snapped all the wood like it just disintegrated and of course where did it land yes of course it did when i mean why i wouldn't expect any less of the of the of nature to you know just be brutally crazy like that but they're okay still they're i mean they're already broken before that you know before that so 
it was just you know unfortunate that it happened again but it didn't really do much to him so it was still upsetting to see though <laughs> you know and uh yeah i had three and a half months with this tarp and i i feel like a yeah complete failure but whatever i there's small progress every day and i do have a pink tub which is one of the small ones it's like a mini mini tub eventually you probably put it in my bus but the sink and the toilet are still over at um skate park but they're using it or the toilet they're using it as a sign and like we're not giving it sign up like well it's a working toilet i could i could have a pink bathroom that would be wicked wouldn't it i would love to have a pink bathroom pink and black Oh, like trendy gothic or something <laughs> i don't know anyways guys um yeah um my water tank's still i got water now and everything so it's pretty cool yeah and all my supplies are yeah getting everywhere but uh yeah i don't know what else um hopefully soon oh yeah i'm uh, going to help some girl today put her fence up for her dogs so she can get her she can get her dogs back because her i guess they bite here and there so they won't uh, ASPCA or whatever won't give them back till uh, she puts the fence up. So anyways, I'm going to help her with the fence and she has all this stuff that she wants to clean up her, her area. She has tons and tons of stuff. Like a huge tank like this tall. I can make a, a wood burning stove out of her, rocket stove or, or, or a, uh, whirl, uh, what do you call it? Well, not whirlpool, um, hot tub, hot tub water heater thing. Um, there's a few hot tubs that are out here. I'm trying to get a hold of one. Usually when I just think about it, and put it out to the universe it usually sh shows up it's kind of crazy oh yeah and i got this oh <gasps> i wasn't going to show you guys but i have to i just i need a, i need a win i need a i need some good i need a good feeling anyways i don't know if you guys can guess what i'm going to do with this big old uh um what are those the the we the, the anyways, it's from a spool of electrical wire or something like that anyways but it's been burnt out on one side but it's super heavy it's like double thickness it's like super double thickness but i'm gonna take it apart and make two hobbit doors yes i might even put one in the back of the bus cut a big old circle in the back of the bus put that one in there <laughs> who knows anyways what I, I am gonna make a door though maybe there or i'm gonna have a yurt on this other side over here where the tarp is anyways yeah and the, where the uh those burnt out barrels are all the way to the trees I have a little circle area in there have a little have a yurt and i might do a reciprocal roof learned about that recently and i think that thing is beautiful i mean one holds up the next and so forth all the way around so they all heat when you're all done putting them up putting them up they all hold each other up with like no nails no nothing they've been doing it in huts for centuries and shit so i looked at a lot of different designs and it's pretty pretty cool so not not that hard to do so there's even some I've seen with the reciprocal roof, and there's a skylight in the middle because you gotta have a, there's like a circle in the middle that they all attach to. They're, they're put on one or another. And I've seen an, I've seen one of these designs that somebody made a reciprocal roof, and where the skylight is, they made it so big that they put a gazebo deck up there. I'm like, no way, that is the shit. Imagine if I had a gazebo deck on top of my reciprocal roof, like you know, it would be twenty some feet high in the air, looking at the stars every night. Oh man, that'd be so cool. All right, 23 minutes. All right, I don't know. I was going to do 20 minutes. So I guess uh, it's weird not going live, man. I tried going live recently because I got 16 gigs in a hotspot and tried my computer, and it still won't let me. So I, I thought you just couldn't on your phone. You had to do it on some other way, and I tried my computer like three different times, and it didn't work. So if you guys know anything else about that, um, I haven't been on. Yeah, I didn't have a phone for a couple months. I mean, I did. I was paying for it, but it. It was broken, and then I got a new one and broke it a couple days later. <laughs> I had to get another new one. Oh, it's been a yeah, it's been rough. I got left, I got stranded in Brawley by my ride. That person came back here and stole a bunch of shit. <laughs> generator and whatnot. It wasn't even my generator. It's like, oh my God, that's, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, there's one thing after another. It just one thing fell. I was doing really good at the beginning of summer. Once one thing went down, it, everything else fell like dominoes, one after another. Major things, not just little things. It was like a bunch of stuff, like huge things. and just wouldn't stop. I hope it does stop. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm rambling now. I'm a little stoned. Um, 
but yeah, I'm alive. I'm still here. Um, loving it. This place uh, is seriously the best thing I've ever uh, experienced in my life. It's it's funny how ironic how I got clean in a place where there's no law and more drugs than water. <laughs> And um, I'm that I'm like 20 miles from the border, so it's, yeah, it's like yeah, a recovering addict, alcoholic coming to a place where everyone drinks and does drugs, and yeah, it's just wow, it's it's just blows my mind how um, how that happened, or I'm glad it happened, but it's just yeah, I don't understand it, but I don't have to. All I gotta do is move forward, be true to myself, and everything else follows. Just you know, comes into play. That's what I feel. If you're true to yourself, then you'll be true to others. As long as you're true to yourself and you stay, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm my brain's not working. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, uh, thanks for subscribing. I noticed there's a bunch of new subscribers. Uh, thank you so much. It's cool. I'm glad uh, you guys are interested in my stupid life and what I'm doing out here. But summer's over. I'm starting to get. It, it was a it was a battle. I didn't want to do too many videos because it was basically at night and you can't see anything anyway. So I, you know, or it's hard to charge. You can't charge your phone because it's so hot. Your phone just dies. It just doesn't doesn't charge. So it was really hard to even you know get to, to use my phone even to do a video. So. Um, but now it's it's a little cooler out. My phone's working good. I got a new phone now, and um, everything's getting back on track. And uh, I know I've said this before, but seriously, expect more videos soon. Hopefully, I want to start doing them daily if I can get a routine going. But having a routine out here in the slabs is just it's ridiculous. It's, you just can't. It's just there's so much that goes on, and so much that with the weather and the people, they just uh, whatever, just. Whatever I'm building or something, it's just, yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's just defeat. It's, you're just trying too hard. <laughs> so, but if I do get somewhat of a, uh, similar to a routine and I'm able to do more videos, I would, I would very much like so. Cause I have a lot of, I have like six or seven notebooks filled with stuff. I've been like my dry erase board. <laughs> I mean, it's got schematics. Um, all the dimensions, everything on uh, on what I'm gonna, you know, come up and build soon, you know. Oh, there's that reciprocal, reciprocal roof thing. It looks something like that. But uh, yeah, this is all stuff I went out and. Oh, another thing, yeah. When I, when my phone first died, um, I didn't have access to my phone, and back in the day, you didn't, you know, I don't never thought about when you have your, uh, we never had a, when I was younger, I, we, I never had a phone in my pocket all the time. Now that I do, I always forget I have a camera and this and that. And, but anyways, the, these phones actually hinder my memory. It's like, cause before I used to have 30, 40 numbers in my head. I could name them off, you know, who's, who's it was and what their exact phone number was. And I'd have 30 of them in my head. I don't I got one now that I could memorize. And that's only because I, I, I let my phone enable me to, uh, be convenient like that and have my phone have loaded up but if you lose your phone you guys probably know you're fucked <laughs> and yeah when I when my phone went down I everything that I had planned out everything that I had all the all the dimensions all the everything I measured everything that I all the ideas all the was all on the phone and I wasn't able to get to it not at all so that was that really threw me for a loop because then I'm like oh wait now I have to do all that stuff over again or what oh there's a specific order sometimes different steps that you got to take and depending on what you're going to build and what you're going to make so sometimes i'd miss a few steps and be like oh i forgot to oh and then i have to go back and backtrack and then you got to re take down what you just built and it's just oh man that was really hard to do you know and to not to lose all those it was so many notes so many things and i yeah that's why now i'm going back to hard hard copy and just getting a pen and a piece of paper and that's what I do. I even find like sometimes I'm like I don't have a piece of paper on. I'll grab the the nearest uh, whatever like a soup can or something and take the label off and use the back of the label. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, I'm rambling again. All right, here we go. I got 20 seconds till we hit 30 minutes, and then I'll cut it off. Um, like, share, subscribe. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Cheers, and uh, I'll be making another one soon. All right. 
There's Otto. Otto Buzz. Oh, wait. I gotta get Blue Dog. Oh, I went over 30 minutes. Oh, well. Blue Dog. Blue Dogs. <gasps> Here's Blue Dog. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the bus is still empty. <laughs> but here's Blue Dog. All right. Love you guys. Take care. And, uh, yeah. Hope your day is going as good as mine is so far.